If you're looking for an absolute dominant M4 class to use in Modern Warfare 2 to destroy your opponents, get high scoring gameplays, drop nukes, and everything more, this video is perfect for you. I'm going to be showing you the best class setup, gameplay, and everything you need in order to absolutely destroy your opponents. Let's get to it. Playing some shoot house, so honestly, I'm hoping we do pretty well this game. I haven't played this map in quite some time, so I have some good feelings, though, that we're going to do pretty decent. Okay. Nice. Slide, okay. Not seeing anybody. Okay, let's be careful. Ooh, okay. Reload real quick. Ah! Uh Spawns flipped, okay. Nice. Right over there. Alright, we're good, we're good. Come on, we got this. Come on, where are they at? Get them off, okay. I'll take, hey, I'll take one of them. I just realized we're playing a Twitch kid too, so we definitely got to win this game we either gotta win this game or we gotta drop a crazy amount of kills on him gonna happen oh my god i don't want to give up that gunfight but it looks like one of my teammates probably got him. oh no never mind we got him <laughs> let's go okay i know they're gonna keep on coming back to that same spot yeah see literally kid kept coming back they're, they're still camping that spot, man. Like, legitimately, they're still camping that spot. I don't get why that man's still camping the same spot, but okay. Like, I mean, if he wants to, sure. Watch, he's going to come back. See, like, they're over here somewhere. Okay, got one kill. Another, nice. Got him. Got our UAV. Come on. Ah, oh, I missed that guy. Okay, there we go. Throw that there. We gotta watch here. I'm just trying to be careful that this guy doesn't come from behind and kill me. Especially since he threw that down, which, like, makes me want to challenge. Okay, there we go. Got our SAE. If we can get our VTOL, that'd be great. Dang it. I mean, they got guys on B, they got guys on C, but I'm not trying to risk it. I'm going to call this in here. Hopefully that gets somebody. Wait. Okay. Nice. Okay. There we go. Got our veto. Come on. Drop it. We made one guy leave the game. Okay. There we go. So we're doing good now. Ooh, yeah. Veto finally putting in the work there. Nice. Got him. Oh my god, we actually got two people at the same time. Let's go, baby. I didn't realize there was a bounce of Betty I set off there. We're destroying the kill fee right now. Nice try, bud. Uh, I was going to either get one of those or none of those, so I'm all good. I, I'm i loving the STB, man. Like, this is probably my favorite gun in the game by far. It's just 
it's got the perfect accuracy, perfect everything. So, like, it, it's certainly up there. Inside of the map. Pick them off. Pick them off. Come on. Nice. I'm going to try to play this carefully. Oh, I didn't realize he said a bouncing Betty right there, man. God damn. Smart on that guy. Oh, okay. Hey, I'll, I'll take that, you know. I'll take that trade. Throw it over there just in case. Hit somebody nice. Get him on the head glitch. Come on. Okay. Ah, uh, my teammate got a or my ah uh, the enemy got a good shot on me. I'm gonna send my teammate like. We're definitely bringing this game back, though. Especially only, like, 10-point difference. Throw that there. I don't know what that guy was playing. I think he was trying to, th like, trick shot me. And that was not going to work. That guy had a really good plan to lay prone. So many tryhards laying prone these days. Yeah, you're just sitting there. Like, that. that's all this guy's been doing is literally laying prone, just sniping people the entire game. Which is kind of annoying, but I can understand, I guess, why you're doing it. So. Oh my god, I almost missed that guy. There's gonna be someone who comes around this corner, I guarantee you. Yep, there he is. I'm trying to hear footsteps. Oh my god. Nope. You're not leaving my point of view. Nice try, buddy. Calling in the UAV. We gonna get that second beetle. By hook or by crook, we're getting that second beetle. Okay, they're sitting on A. There's a couple ways we can do this. I'm going to let them come to me. N nice. Need to reload real quick. Okay. Oh my god. We escaped with the by the hair of our chin. Not bro. If you gotta use a drill charge to get somebody, you're that bad. Like, I'm, I'm just saying that. I think a lot of people would agree with me, like. Okay. Truck that over there. Didn't get anybody. Come on. Of course you're playing with a riot shield. Oh man, okay, okay. I need to reload. Bro. It is literally because of that one teammate that that guy survived. And I'm annoyed by that. Oh, you're literally in pairs with each other. How cute. Sniping, okay. How do we do? All right, we got 39 kills. I'll take that, you know? All right, everyone, so showing you guys the class setup that I used in this gameplay. First, for the ammunition, we're using the 5.56 high velocity ammunition. This is gonna give you bullet velocity, losing a little bit of damage range, but I think it's personally great across the board when it comes down to it. Now, for the barrel, we're using the 24.4 Bruin S-620. This is going to give you damage range, bullet velocity, hip fire accuracy, and recoil control. You're going to lose a little bit of aim down sight and movement speed along with hip recoil control. But it's not really that big of an issue. Now for the optic, we're using the Slimline Pro. Probably my favorite one to use out of any of the optics for any weapon out there. 
because it will give you a precision sight picture and also lose a little bit of aim down sight speed. Now for the stock, we're using the Bruin HCR 56 stock and I like this one because it's going to give you recoil control, lose a little bit of crouch movement and aim down sight speed. You can certainly use the Bruin MX9 stock but do keep in mind that you're going to trade speed for recoil. Now for the comb, we're using the FTAC C11 riser. I personally really like this because it's going to give you that sprint to fire and aim down sight speed that we've really been needing. Plus, you are going to lose a little bit of aiming stability and aim walking speed. So, Now to show you the tuning first for the barrel, I have it at a plus 0.21 for recoil steadiness instead of aim walking speed and plus 14 for damage range over aim down sight speed. And the reason for this is just to make that barrel even more dominant and really be a focal point of this having more damage range and recoil steadiness now for ammunition i have it at a minus 0 0.02 so towards the damage range but i have the bullet velocity at plus 4.06 grain which i think is really going to help out now for the optic i tuned the flinch resistance up to 0 0.97 and I'm keeping the eye position at even 0.0. .0. So whether they're close or far away, I'm still going to be able to see them. But I want that flinch resistance. Now for the comb, I have it at a plus 0.12. And I have it at a plus 0.13 for aiming stability. Which is just ultimately going to help out a lot more with being accurate. And not having to worry about you know getting my shots off or anything like that and then lastly for the stock i have it at a negative 1.29 towards aim down sight speed and 0.70 for aiming idle stability so really helping out with that aim down sight speed for my tactical and lethal i'm using a flash grenade semtex and also i am using my famous perk package three that being bomb squad scavenger hardline and overclock so that is the class setup and everything. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this. If you guys did, make sure to comment down below, note again, and also leave a like, the like goal again for this video, 20 likes. If you guys could hit that, that'd be awesome. But with that being said, the video is done. I hope you guys do enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see all of you guys in the next one.